Okay, what's Christmas like for you? Um, I love Christmas, you know, because, you know, all my family could, you know, get a chance to be around each other. You know what I'm saying? That's the main thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, just the, just the home love, good food, everybody happy, you know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. I mean, what you just described, somebody could describe as Thanksgiving, too, in yeah. some households. Yeah, but it's just, it's different because you're not going to see everybody for Thanksgiving. But the odds of you seeing everybody for Christmas is strong because people are waiting for gifts and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So it just, you know, in my, for my family, like, that's when everybody gets together, like everybody in our family. You know, a few people may be around for Thanksgiving, but for Christmas, there's a lot of love, a lot of partying. A lot of alcohol, you know what I'm saying? So Christmas in your household is more of a big deal than, let's say, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Now, has anything ever crazy happened? Anything out of the norm on Christmas for you? I mean, there's always some fights happening in my family for Christmas because there's a lot of gambling going on, card games, dice games, Madden, 2K. So somebody bound to get in a fight. You know what I'm saying? After after a few drinks and shit like that, so it's all good. Just yeah. arguing or like physical altercations? Arguing and sometimes physical. Mm. You ever had to break any of those up? Or yeah. were you maybe involved in Oh as yeah, well? I had to break them up. <laughs> now, favorite Christmas memory, excuse me, favorite Christmas memory if you have one. Um, maybe it was the night before, the day of, day after, I don't know. Do you have a favorite Christmas memory? I remember one of my uncles, he was in prison for a while. He came, he came home from prison like a few days before Christmas. So that was kind of like, you know, big in our family. You know what I'm saying? It was a surprise release or did, did you guys know like, this was going to happen? Surprise. Surprise as in nobody knew this was going to happen or he yeah, kept it a surprise? my mom knew, but the rest of the family didn't. Ah, I see. What was that like seeing him? Crazy. How long was it he hadn't been around for? Like seven years. Oh, wow. Seven, eight years. Now, uh, speaking of prison time, you have done prison time before. Yeah. How much prison time have you done before? Two and a half years. Two and a half. What's Christmas like when it, when you are incarcerated? That's the worst shit in the world. <laughs> That's the worst. I don't wish that on nobody, you know what I mean? be honest with Because I imagine two and a half years you've, you had to celebrate your birthday at you know at least once or twice. Yeah. Uh, maybe n the New Year, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, a plethora of other holidays, but mm -hmm. Christmas behind bars. Yeah, that shit ain't what's up. What, do, does the, uh, where you were uh, located at, did, the, did they do anything? Sp I don't know if they could do anything special, but did they do anything out of the ordinary for? No, I mean, shit, we did, the inmates, we did shit, but not them. Mm. How does one get through Christmas while out there? Maybe somebody's watching this is about to go in and do some time or, you know, that sort of thing. Anything you would, you would tell them, you would advise them? Man. Try to talk on the phone as much as you can to your family. So that's all I can say. You heard me. Is your is your uh, is your fa your loved ones trying to uh, contact you on that day? They're trying to get a hold of you on that day, or is it one of those days you want to be left alone? You don't want to talk to maybe family. It could go either way, you know. It could be a day where you just don't feel like being bothered, or you know, whether people may come visit you or start anything. You just never know. Mm. I see. Do they try to send gifts? Do they try to send a package because of... Yeah, packages. Definitely packages because it's cold, so yeah. Maybe extra money on your books or something? Yeah, like extra that. money, like sweatpants, sweatshirts, socks, you know, shit like that. Mm. Now, when it comes to uh, Christmas, obviously, um, music, movies, these are, you know, huge for Christmas. Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Do you have a favorite Christmas movie? Um, maybe if it was some, maybe it was something you experienced when you were younger that just sticks to you. I don't know. Is that what that Christmas song was? And this Christmas <laughs> will be 
A very special Christmas for me. Yeah, then it go boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all remember that motherfucker. You hit it on the head. Yeah. Hit it, hit it on the head. So that one sticks to you. Hell yeah. Now what about, okay, that, that may be a song that sticks to you, but have you ever released music on Christmas? Nah. Your own personal? No. Uh-uh. Why not? It doesn't have to be a Christmas song, but it could be maybe a. a, a I don't. I, that's a, a funny. That's kind of funny. I don't know. I don't know. It's a good idea though. Never released a project mm -mm. A song for the fans. You might be on to something, bro. I might might just release them on Christmas. What about working on Christmas? Have you had to do a show? Um. Uh. Yeah. I did. I did shows. Shit. I even did studio on Christmas. Oh wow. <laughs> Why would you be in the studio on Christmas? Christmas morning, early, while the food was cooking, uh, you know, right after the kids didn't open their gifts, a little hour or two, mm. never hurt nobody. Now, you performed Christmas night, or was it like the night like before Christmas? Christmas Eve. Okay. How's the turnout on something like that? That shit always crazy, no matter where you at. It's nothing to do. People like to go out and have fun on those days, you know, especially Christmas night, Christmas Eve night. That's the turn up, man. The, the the first of the year, right around the corner. They're not trying to stay home and wait for the presents and this, that, and the third. And you know, people are gonna get to that early. They ready to turn up. So Christmas Eve turnouts at a show, pretty good. Yeah. Now, when it comes to gifts, right? We talked about gifts before. Obviously, that can be a big deal for some families uh, on Christmas. Best Christmas present you ever received. I would say the the best Christmas gift I ever received was uh, the Nintendo 64 with the uh, James Bond GoldenEye 007. Mm. A lot of people <laughs> remember that. That shit crazy. I'll pay top dollar for that shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Worst Christmas present you ever received? Uh, the worst you gave present. us the best. What's the worst? I mean, I feel like the lamest Christmas gift to get is a card. When people just give you, you know, just give you a card, you know, which is some shit written in there. No gift, nothing. No money in it? Nothing. Yeah. Just a plain Jane yeah, card. Yeah, that's lazy as fuck, man. Be more creative than that. That's probably one of the worst ones. Oh, and, and by the way, on that uh, Nintendo 64, who got you that gift? I forgot to ask you. My mom. Total surprise, or did you cheat and find out you were gonna get that? No, nah, I kept asking for it. I kept asking for that motherfucker. She came in the house with it. She actually, I actually got it like a day before Christmas Eve. A day before Christmas Eve? Yeah, cause I couldn't wait no longer. I found out that she had it. And oh, I was like, okay, I see. Fuck that, give it to <laughs> me now. What about regifting? Have you ever received a gift and then dumped it off to somebody else? Eventually? No. Uh. -uh. 